Hello and welcome to the Body Bags channel. I'm your host for Thursday, the Sinister One. And I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and uh, be safe out there, especially with the holiday traffic. And watch some genre movies. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and do my review on Night of Death. It's a uh, French film from 1980. So, I'll go ahead and get into the synopsis of this film. Um, it takes place in this uh, deadlock house, a secluded French retirement home, where this uh, new nurse decides that she wants to get a job there after eight months of unemployment and she starts to train under this other nurse and she starts to see that the residents they seem pretty nice um, but the place is a bit odd and some of the residents are you know violent and aggressive and the head uh, the head mistress of the house she's She's really strange and odd and very strict on her rules. And then, as uh, this new nurse named Martine, as she starts to to uh, fit in there, she starts getting her routine down. You know, everything seems to be going good. And all of a sudden, her uh, trainer gets fired. And she gets concerned because she's like, while all of a sudden, so things start to be weird where she starts finding her uh, items here and there and it's like, why, why would she leave such things behind? So as she starts getting deeper and deeper into her investigation, she starts to uncover that maybe this place isn't what it seems. And I'll just leave it right there. Uh, my thoughts on this film, it's, it's a really good film, uh, it has to be seen. The gore was pretty good, I really enjoyed the gore. Some parts it just seemed like, uh, you know, it was kind of just like a little bit dragging here and there. But other than that, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, there's this, uh, groundskeeper, and... His name is Fra Fraulein or something. I can't pronounce his name, but anyways, he's got he's he's got this limp. There's something wrong with his legs. He's crippled, and just the way he walks, <clears throat> and the way he moves, and the way he looks, it just makes him really really creepy. He plays such a great <coughs> creepy groundskeeper, and then you know. She starts to investigate him a little bit more, and he's all he's all screwed up. He's got some skeletons in his closet. So, I mean, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, the end was actually pretty good. I, I, the end kind of surprised me, but it is really straightforward. I mean. From the beginning of the movie, uh, it shows you pretty much, you know, what exactly is going on. So it's not like you have to sit there and and uh, solve anything or you know think, okay, this could be going on, that could be going on. No, as soon as you put put this movie in, it just gives gives it away exactly what's going on at Deadlock House. So. Um, check out Night of Death from 1980. This is a synopsis film. Now I paid 10 bucks for it, so I'm really worth it because I got it for my 1980s uh, decade collection. So check out Night of Death. I give it four stars. And uh, again, happy Thanksgiving and thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, 
and uh, post a comment down below. Leave me some thoughts. And go check out uh, my channel, The Sinister One. I put some new videos on there as well. So, you know, enjoy your time with uh, your loved ones.